There is one app I cannot stop using. I made a few videos about it already, but I just wanted to talk about it again because it just got a huge update and it's such a fun and strangely calming and relaxing app to use, even though it's a note taking app. I know there are lots of new note apps out there like Tana. I made a review of it last week and it's such a great app. While these apps have lots of cool tricks, I still keep coming back to Napkin because of its minimalistic approach to personal knowledge management. And also, it is the best app to review what you read and find connections between ideas. So Napkin recently announced its new integration with Readwise. In case you don't know about Readwise, it's an app that lets you import your highlights from Kindle, reading apps, podcast apps, and even physical books, and then export them to your favorite note app. That way you can organize and review your highlights more easily. And I think Napkin is generally the best tool to review your highlights and get inspired. Let me tell you why. There are three reasons why I love Napkin. One is auto tagging. Whenever you make a new note or Napkin imports a new highlight, it automatically analyzes the content using AI and gives them some tags. And then based on the tags, it shows you relevant notes in your knowledge base. I find this extremely useful because it lets you see the link between the highlight and the highlights you made before, and also your past thought. Usually in normal note apps, you have to do this manually, which can take some time and effort, but I love how Napkin does it seamlessly. And it feels amazing and fun to discover surprising connections between the notes. Sometimes Napkin suggests something you completely forgot from books you read a long time ago, and that's really cool. This kind of leads to the second point. The second reason why I like it is that it solves the problem of the idea black hole. What I mean by that is, have you ever had an experience where you take notes and uh, make highlights from books and articles, but you never actually review them or use them? I call this your note app turning into an idea black hole. I had this problem with many note apps before. Even though I had hundreds of book notes and highlights, I didn't review them at all because they got buried under other notes. But Napkin offers a pretty good solution to this problem by analyzing your notes, linking relevant ones together, and encouraging you to review them if you haven't seen them for a while. And this makes sure that no notes will be left at the bottom of your knowledge base forgotten, and they will be reviewed by you regularly. I think this is really useful to actually remember what I read, because I'm in a way forced to see my highlights and notes frequently. A metaphor I like to use to demonstrate this point is a circulator. Using napkin is like having a circulator in your room. It makes sure that air keeps moving around to keep your room fresh, not stuffy. Now replace the air with your notes. It ensures every note stays active and is seen by you from time to time so that no notes are forgotten and collect dust. And finally, the third reason why I like it is that it feels calming. I said this before in a video, but it's just a really nice way to start your day or do before going to bed. Seeing your past thoughts and uh, inspirations is relaxing and helps recall what you studied. I usually like to do my note review in the morning after making a plan for the day. I have a bunch of notes that I want to see every day, as kind of like daily affirmation. For these notes, I put a tag called daily so I can find them quickly. This really helps remind myself what kind of person I like to be. I know it sounds kind of cringy, but it really does help. And then time to time, I review my highlights from Readwise and then put them into my writing files which are called stacks in Napkin. This is where I develop my ideas for blog, books, and YouTube. All right, so that was how I use Napkin and why I love using it. I know there are new awesome note apps, but I think this is a great product that can solve some problems that typical note-taking apps have. Especially if you're struggling with the idea black hole problem and uh, feel like you're not reviewing your notes and uh, highlights enough, this might be able to help. And if you're interested, you should check my full review of Napkin and try it out from the link in the description. Okay, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.